Today we are at AfriGen. AfriGen is the core anchor of the mRNA tech transfer hub. We've been through the facilities, everything is looking good. Uh, we have already started receiving a lot of equipment that is going to be used for training because this facility here in Cape Town at AfriGen is going to be where other manufacturers of vaccines are going to be trained, those that are coming from low and middle income countries. So we are quite excited here that uh, this facility has reached a stage where when we talk about the state of readiness, we can proudly say that even as the DG of World Health Organization leaves this place, they will actually with his delegation be very pleased that they made a good choice by getting South Africa to be the first ever host of the mRNA tech transfer hub. So I think what is important for the DG to, of Health Organization to see today is going to be one, when we look at the state of readiness of the facilities, and two, the new recruits that have been appointed uh, to really work in this facility. Because as you know, before this facility was appointed as one of the hosts, uh, there wasn't really a number of uh, professionals as we have now. So going through the laboratories, there's going to be a differentiation between the various clean rooms, which is where the preparations are done for various vaccines. Then obviously, with time, these facilities are going to also have rooms where um, the quality controls are going to happen for the products before it actually gets tested at lab level. And from there, uh, we know that from this facility, there's going to be a facility that is going to actually go into commercial manufacturing. And that will be Biovec. And this is again another facility that the um, Director General will go to see, and it is on the other side in Pinelands. And this is where the actual commercial production will happen. And for us, the excitement is that this whole ecosystem of the facility here, which is doing the training and the development, and then the one that is going to be doing the commercial manufacturing, they are already working together in terms of making sure that even the facilities and the infrastructure itself is actually aligned in terms of what it can do without having to um, recalibrate too much.